What's up, everybody? What's up? <laughs> Try again. Take two. What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? Oh! So this video is about how Little Jackson was made. Ba -ba -ba. How was Jackson made? What's some birds that come and, and put a baby at your doorstep? A swan? You know how they always say, a swan came and just put you on my doorstep. I know you're talking about, but I don't know what they're called. And it doesn't even matter anymore. So, he was made. You know how them yeah. jokes go? Oh no, I don't like that angle. You know? Why do you have to be? I can't so, lean on you. Well, yeah, I just no, I don't want to lean on you. Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it right now! You stop it right now! Respect Golly. your elders. I didn't say that. Oh, dimple? Shit. No dimple. Dimple? Don't dimple. Okay, how Jackson was made. Well, you know that joke about two lesbians and a turkey baster? Is it baster or baser? Baster. Is it baster? I hope so. Now that we've established that it's baster. It's baster. <laughs> we looked up turkey baster on Google. So, one day, we were like, yeah. You know, we were talking about how we were going to do it. Who was going to have him. Who the donor was going to be. How it was going to happen. All that. We chose you because I just had surgery. She had just got her appendix taken out, I think. So. You were the lucky one. And we were like, yeah. We'll just try it. So we got a turkey baster. We t finally, you know, decided to ask the donor. And he was a really good friend of ours. Um, you know, we did what we had to do between us. And he just kind of gave us his, uh, his sperm in a cup. In a cup. I literally went outside. He met us in the front. I went out there, hey. He gave me his sperm in a cup. I, I was wearing gloves. I was wearing gloves, didn't touch it. And um, he said, here you go. I said, thanks, you got it. And then, no sexual contact, none. No, that's why he's, yeah, he's a donor. Yeah. Well, cause I mean, you know how some people are like, oh, well, does she have sex with the man? Like, does she actually have sex with the man? No, no, we're explaining it. That was basically. I think we did. Just making sure. And then he left. He left. And so while she was doing that, I was getting ready in here. Um, we read again. We didn't know what we were doing. This was all supposed to be like, oh well, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. See how it goes. You know. So he w she was out there said thanks you know whatever and i was in here i was getting ready i was on the couch and just you know showtime and then she just kind of you know injected it in me and uh we did it while i was ovulating i had tracked it for a couple of months and it was consistent so we did it how many times uh in december yeah. Uh, about I think five, it was six times. Oh, really? Four when to six. Ovulating. I don't know. When I was ovulating. Dirty <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Gross. Do you see you anything can see in the, my eye? The, like the hole between your eye and your eyelid. Okay, is there anything in that hole? I don't think so. Ew! 
Does it still burn? No, it's gone. Anyways, so after we had did it, I was going to wait a couple of weeks to take a test, you know, because that's the earliest you could do. Well, Shark Week came. So I was pissed. Donna. Pissed. Donna. Your head looks so weird from that angle. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Yeah, Shark Week came, and so then I was just like, it's not possible, whatever, all mad. Well, we'll try again next month, see what happens. We kind of know what we're doing this time. Well, we still didn't, but, you know, you only live once, right? Why not just do what we both wanted to do for a long time? So the next cycle came, and we did it again about three to four times this time it was less yeah because at that point we were just kind of like well well i mean i was i'm not sure yeah um so we did all that three times and then i just kind of i had a feeling and I think it was maybe like a week later I had those really bad cramping and I went home but I was cramping so bad I was at work and I had to go home well I didn't know that was part of the process of getting pregnant and then what happened <laughs> you tell them what happened <laughs> she's feeling constipated <laughs> Putting my business all out there. She's feeling constipated. And keep in mind, we like just tried it again like two, three days before. And I was thinking, you know, there's there's no way you could be pregnant because we just tried it. So I told her to take a, what's it called? A laxative. A laxative. Sit here. Take a laxative. You know. As I'm on the toilet. She's on the toilet. I'm reaching over her. <laughs> and I say, here, take a laxative. Well. That was a weird noise. Oh, the cops are here. Where? They're over there. Oh, shit. That cop just. Oh, my God. Should we go out there? No. <laughs> So y'all know I had to come and get y'all the full scoop because I want to know. Okay. Back to the story. Uh, where do we leave off? Laxative. Mm. I took that laxative. It did its job. That's also a side effect of being pregnant. Didn't know that either. <laughs> oh, it's okay, go. Oh, he don't have no shorts on because he was wearing jean shorts. And we just wanted him to be comfy because he just woke up. <laughs> yes, sir. So I took a test at my job. <laughs> my job at that time was great, like really late. I would get off about two o'clock in the morning. So I was on break one day and I was like, oh my God, like I had a feeling. I just had a feeling and I can't explain it, but I got a test and I took it in the bathroom. Sure did. I took him to the bathroom at work and I sat there on the toilet. I had video of it, but I don't know if you still do. I don't know either. I lost a lot when I dropped my phone in the lake. <clears throat> at work, I was, I wasn't working. 
And first person I told was my best friend. Cause I, I had to tell somebody. I was gonna try and keep it a surprise for Myra and her, everybody. But I couldn't, I couldn't. <clears throat> I wasn't the first to know. That's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. We Can had completely keep... different jobs. And I mean, it wasn't cool, but you gotta do what you gotta do. When I got off, I decided to go to uh, Walmart and just get kind of like, oh, Valentine's Day stuff. <clears throat> and it was still cold, so I went and got like a little onesie. And at that time I had taken like 10 pregnancy tests. Like it was a lot. And I gave her, I woke her up and I was like, I got a present for you. A Valentine's Day present and I can't wait. And you told me if you want it now, come down or we can wait in the morning. So I got up <laughs> and I went down. Knowing you had to be back up in two hours. Right. I wanted my present. She opens it. What? Have to sleep. Mm, it was funny. After that, we had taken another 10 tests. Mm. Just couldn't believe it. Because how is that possible? You know, we go from a turkey baster. I missed this part. We go from a turkey baster because it wasn't working properly. Oh, um, I should just... <laughs> came out and the turkey baser hole was too big and so. it had like a lip on it and so everything was getting caught in that i wasn't we weren't getting the full quality <laughs> the full amount of power you know so we went to uh, a syringe uh -huh. like a baby medicine syringe thing and we just sucked it out of the cup and that and mm, that worked that worked I decided what made us go to Planned Parenthood. We went to Planned Parenthood. I think my mom, because my mom didn't believe me or something. She really wanted a doctor to check. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And well, you didn't have your uh, benefits yet or medical or something because you just started your job. Mm. So we had to wait. So we went to Planned Parenthood, you know, peed in a cup, did all that that I had to do. They told me I was negative, was not pregnant. Very sad day. That was sad. But I knew, like I felt, I felt it. I was like, that's, we have these 10 tests, they're positive. I feel like I feel different, I can feel it. Like I couldn't feel him moving, but I felt different. Can't be possible. He Took like another he few tests, positive. I think we have a picture with the onesie and all the tests. Yeah. We'll put it right up here somewhere. Right there. Yeah. He's just listening <clears throat> to his story being told. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The tow truck came <laughs> for the cop car. I hope y'all heard it. Like, you could hear his tires wheel as he went up on that that was funny golly okay so anyways after Planned Parenthood we were sad we both cried but I was waiting for my benefits to kick in it took how far along was I it didn't take too too long but as soon as they kicked in I went to go get checked out and there we go there's a little peanut doing crunches Ugh. But she said, the doctor said that it was January 4th that he was conceived. And it wasn't because that's when you were on your period. We determined it happened the first cycle. Cycle. The first time we tried. The first cycle, the very first day that we tried it with the turkey baster. <laughs> It worked. Look at him looking all mad. So yeah. 
Good thing I have not been with a man. <laughs> I would be having about 56 babies right now. There's a man? Yes. And then the rest is just doctor appointments and now here he is. The best pregnancy. Oh, the pregnancy was a breeze. I had heart, I was sick for maybe a week. But you weren't even really sick. I was just nauseous yeah. and just, it wasn't. All you ate was crackers and, and ginger ale. Ginger ale. <laughs> I can't hate ginger ale now. <laughs> I can't stand ginger ale anymore. That only lasted about a week. And then everything else was a breeze. I worked throughout my whole pregnancy. I I took my maternity leave the day before he was supposed to be born. Mm -hmm. And then when we were there at the hospital, oh man, that was something else. My body didn't want to have him. It was like, hmm. Oh, no, we ain't pushing this thing out. <laughs> so then, after about 10 hours of labor, they decide to break my water, try and get the process going. They gave me some medicine, and they noticed I wasn't dilating anymore. I think I stopped at four, four and a half. Um, and I was like, well, we'll keep on waiting because they're giving me the medicine, all that. Later on that day, the doctor comes again and she's like, you're still four and a half. You actually went down like. Or I went down back to four. Yeah. Because they stopped the medicine. And so she's like, well, would you, do you want to keep on waiting? What would you like to do? At that point, also, his heart rate started going down. Mm -hmm. Every contraction I had, his heart rate went down. So they described it as every time he tries to push to come out, he's just getting tired and just, why? <laughs> why? Because his heart rate kept going down, I was like, I can't, you know, keep on putting him through this nothing's happening my body isn't working with him uh we had decided in that second that we were going to do a c-section while that was getting processed and everything and they were getting everything ready the power goes out when it, i guess when it goes out we're both sleeping mm -hmm. so the nurse came in woke us up she was hey she goes hey, the power went out, so it's gonna be a little later. And we're like, what? You know, everything was dark in the room already. We were sleeping. Mm -hmm. Waited another 30 minutes. Cause they had to get the room temperature. The room temperature, Ice right. cold. They geared me up. I had little booties covering my shoes. They gave me pants and like a lab coat and a hairnet. And we just waited. So then finally, at 12.04 a.m., he was born. So, technically, she is my baby daddy. Hey. She I'm put it in me. Daddy. There goes my baby daddy. There goes my baby daddy. There goes... <laughs> I'm the pappy. So, that's our story. I hope we didn't bore you too, too much, but turkey baster works. got a few requests on this one alrighty well I hope y'all enjoyed our little story on how he happened if y'all have any questions or anything or y'all try oh. okay if y'all have any questions <laughs> about it or y'all want to know how we did certain stuff or you're trying or you know whatever hit me up and I will be able to help you with what I can. I don't know much about it. Because we didn't know what we were doing. I'm just a fertile myrtle. <laughs> See y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like this video. And subscribe. Bye. Don't give you up. I'm never gonna let you go.